We would like to start this video by saying thank you so much for requesting we do this review and leaving it in the comments. If you want us to review anything in particular, make sure you leave it in the comments. We will get around to it, eventually. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of Amiga, so it would be a crime not to review the Amiga Seamaster 300 meters blue dial. Let's get into it. Starting with the price, which is the crux of most watch purchases. It comes in at £4,360. That is with the rubber strap. The bracelet, however, comes in at £4,630. So there's a little bit of a difference there, but I have to say I do prefer the rubber. And let me explain why. Whenever anybody asks me about what watch they should buy, and this is a question I get a lot, I say it's really, it's really about your use of the watch. The reason that I would choose rubber over bracelet is, to me, it's slightly more versatile. In my lifestyle, going up Monroe's and doing photography and videography and going around Scotland and doing adventures in the watch vlog, the rubber makes more sense because it's less likely to scratch. I mean, it won't scratch, it's rubber. Whereas if I were to get a steel bracelet, I feel that it's that little bit more dressy. So it's really up to you. I mean, if you think that you'll be wearing this watch to work in a suit and tie, then I'd maybe go for the bracelet. But if you're going to be getting some real functional use out of it, taking it up hills, going sailing around the med, if you're lucky enough, I'd go with the rubber. This watch comes in stainless steel. The case comes in stainless steel. And of course, if you want to get the bracelet, it also comes in stainless steel, depending on the variant you, you want, you want to choose. I mean, there's lots of different color variations and metal options. I'll put some of them up at the moment. The case diameter comes in at 42 millimeters, which is pretty perfect for my wrist. I mean, I would normally go for between 40 and 43 at a push. And that's because I have 6.5 inch wrists. So they're quite slim, but they're, they're not too slim. Taking a look at the thickness of this watch, to my calculations, this comes in at 13.5 millimeters in thickness. So it's not incredibly thick. I mean, it wears a lot slimmer than normal diving watches would, especially ones that go to 300 meters. The lug to lug, according to my calculations, comes in at 50 millimeters. And the weight, we will find out right now. 113 grams. Taking a look at the aesthetics, the style of this watch, it has a helium skate valve off to the left and it has the screw down crown, allowing water resistance of 300 meter to the right. It also has crown guards, but the thing that I like about these crown guards is they're not too prominent. Sometimes the crown and also the crown guards can be that little bit too intrusive. And when you bend your your wrist or you're getting out the pool for an example it can dig into your hand but this doesn't do that a detail that i really really like is the fact that amiga have used brushed and polished stainless steel now the reason that i like this is it gives it more versatility i feel like it's not too dressy and it's not too much of a tool watch. So I can really wear it anywhere. I mean, I've taken this into the office. I take this to dinners. I take this up hills and climb in rows with it. It's a really versatile watch. Hence why I got the white version. Another point to note is that the lugs kind of taper off quite quickly. They're, they're a little bit elongated, but they do taper off quite quickly. And I really like that. The rubber strap sits quite comfortably in between. And I love the fact that the polished metal on the lugs reflects and contrasts really well with that blue or dark rubber strap. For example, in my white Amiga Seamaster is a black strap and in this one it is a blue. So there's really nice contrast there. Homing in on that durability aspect, let's take a look at the face and let's take a look at the bezel. So the bezel is actually made from ceramic. Now the positive of ceramic is that it's actually more durable than steel. So you won't scratch it and general nicks and cracks and whatever will not be picked up over time. I mean, if you look at my Amiga that I have on at the moment, it literally doesn't have one scratch or one crack on the bezel. And that's how durable it is. I've put this thing through its paces and it's been fine. The bezel is unidirectional and it only moves to the left-hand side. And that, that click, that's satisfying. That's clean. The reason that the bezel is unidirectional is so that when divers are under the water and they've got a time frame of how much oxygen they have in the tank, they don't knock it and it slips back the way, as this would give a unaccurate representation of how many much time they have in their tanks, which could then lead to 
several disasters. <laughs> so they need to know how much oxygen they have in the tank. That's why it is unidirectional. The sapphire crystal glass is actually domed and has anti-reflective coating. So you don't miss out in any of that beautiful dial. And on the note of a beautiful dial, Let's get to it. When I was going to purchase my Amiga Seamaster, the white version, and when I went into my local Chisholm Hunter store to purchase this watch, I was presented with three. I was presented with this, I was presented with the white dial, and I was also presented with the black dial on the black rubber strap. Now, the reason that I picked the white dial over the blue and the black was because the dial was a different color to the bezel. I felt personally it added an extra layer of depth and there was more contrast there, but I know that there's mixed reviews about this. I know that some people prefer unity. They prefer a one color combination. They don't like differences between the bezels and the face, and that's fine. That's totally personal preference. But that's just the reason I bought the white. Let's get into the dial of this watch. So firstly, you have that wave pattern, which is iconic to the Amiga Seamaster and adds so much depth. I'm a huge fan of it. It is a dark blue dial with red, sort of red finishings. It's got a red finish on the, or tip to the second hand. And it's also got a red Seamaster lettering below the Amiga logo. It has a date window at six o'clock, which is fantastic because I actually prefer the date window at six o'clock rather than three. I just feel it adds that little bit more symmetry to me. The hour and the minute hand are actually skeletonized. Now I've heard mixed reviews about these skeletonized hands. Some people really like them. Some people maybe don't like them as much. Personally, I really like them. And I like them for a bit of a weird reason. When the skeletonized hands are over, let's say the date or the Amiga logo, you can see through to the dial and whatever it's covering. This is a really small detail, but when it comes to luxury, these tiny little details are what makes it well, makes it luxury. As well as that, the hands are actually highly polished, which plays wonderfully again with that blue because they reflect the light. So the hands, they contrast really, really nicely. They also have a little bit of the loom on them as well. And then the indices around the borders are white. Now, obviously the white plays really well with that blue, contrasts really well. It's very, very easy to read. I have my torch, I have my toolkit, let us take a look at this loom. Being a fully functional dive watch, it has that green dot, that green loom on the bezel. And also the minute hand has a green loom and the rest is blue. I love the way that this contrasts with each other. It looks really, really appealing. The hour markers are a combination of kind of long rectangles and circles. And I think they're really, really easy to read. To add to that, they have highly reflective polished metal around the outside of them, which also gives them kind of a border, a 3D effect kind of border. They're slightly raised off the dial, which adds extra depth. And I just really like it. I, I love the symmetry. I love the fact that even though the date window, which normally throws symmetry off, because the two long rectangles are at the top, it doesn't, it looks symmetrical. I just, I really like this design. Before we move on to the movement, which is by far it's by far my second favorite bit of this watch. <laughs> you probably didn't expect that, did you? The, my favorite bit has to be the dial. But anyway, I would advise you to try these on. Now, I obviously went into my local Chisholm Hunter and tried them on. We're authorized retailers for Amigo watches. But the reason that I did this is they look so different on the wrist to seeing them online. This video will never do these watches justice. They are beautiful. and you can't comprehend how different they look on the wrist comparison to online. Moving on to the movement, which is visible through the open case back, which is actually Sapphire Crystal. It has the caliber 8800 movement. This thing is beautiful. It carries 55 hours of power, is resistant to magnetic fields of 15,000 Gauss, is COSC and Meta certified. And let's get more into the specs because this is a powerhouse. There is no doubt about the fact that when you're spending 4,000 pounds in a watch, it is a lot of money and every single detail counts. And that's why personally, I went for Amiga. I mean, it's COSC and Meta certified. This is going to last you a very long time, if not a lifetime. I've taken this watch everywhere with me. It is an everyday wearer. It's versatile, it's sturdy, it's classy, and it's an Amiga. I mean, Amigas are embedded in history. They're the first watch on the moon. They're James Bond's timepiece. I mean, they are quality, quality pieces. So no matter whether it's blue, whether it's black, or whether it's white you go with, 
they're all quality timepieces and they all have my approval. If you want us to review any watches in particular, make sure you comment below and we'll get around to it eventually. Thank you so much for watching this Chisholm Hunter watch review. If you want to join the Chisholm Hunter watch community, make sure you subscribe here. If you want to see the watch vlog where we take some pretty incredible watches to some pretty insane locations, make sure you hit it here. And if you want to see more from Amiga and how incredible the Seamaster is, make sure you hit it here.